Hello friends, so the women, the awful women from The View that we all on this channel, if you're new here, hi, we like to hate on the women from The View. Yeah, they all actually get into a disagreement. They kind of turn on each other regarding Kamala Harris and like her campaign strategy and whatnot. It's actually good. I love to see the woke left eating their own. It's like, it's like a guilty pleasure of mine. Like if you agree. Anyways, make sure you like today's video, subscribe to the channel. I post two new videos every single day. It's fun. We have fun here. We like to make fun of people here, okay? We are, you know, we would never be bullies, but we just like to laugh, you know? We like to laugh at people. Anyways, let's get into it. So you, you guys were, ha we were having a really great conversation about really what's happening. I, 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 I think to Anna's point, you know, we're not gonna- Wear less eyeshadow. I can barely see your eyes, Sunny Hostin. Where are your eyes? Nice peers, I mean, uh, sometimes I get comments like, why are you judging people's looks? But that's just what I am. I'm a judgmental ass bitch. And that's why my audience, like we have fun. You guys like that about me. And if you don't, then get the F off. See Kamala Harris throw uh, Joe under the bus mm -hmm. because they've worked in lockstep. Mm -hmm. She's mm -hmm. extremely loyal. And in my view, they have had one of the best administrations most successful administrations in decades. And the, the facts bear that out. What mm -hmm, we don't mm -hmm. do enough of. I the facts bear that out that Joe Biden's administration has been super successful. Bitch, where have you been? What facts are you reading? Do you have dyslexia? Honestly asking, I'm curious. I think is rely on the facts. Emotions try it's like stop, 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 please. Please do not tell me that you rely on the facts. For the love of God. Trump a fact. Uh, emotions don't trump facts, right? Mm -hmm. Say facts one more time. I dare you. And and, and so I, I think, yes, could she have answered my question differently? Sure. But she and she eventually did. Mm -hmm. She said, I would add a Republican to my candidate. That's one of the differences. The other right. thing. Cabinet. Did cabinet. I say cabinet? Yes, cabinet. cabinet. That's fine. But it's okay. Uh, the other thing that she said is, I bring my lived experience, which is a different one, mm -hmm. to uh, to this administration. Right. And I think those are important things that seem to keep on getting lost well, Sonny, amongst the people. Most of the people that are already friendly to the administration are going to be voting for Kamala Harris. And that's the problem is when you see that people are saying they need change or they're not happy, whether it resonates why they're not happy or not, you need to appeal to a certain amount of change. People aren't happy. Whether they should be, we can yell at them all we want. They aren't. Yeah, well, guess what? Exactly, like, so she's the one, this girl, Sarah Haynes, you know, she's she's obviously a lib, but she seems a little bit more moderate and a little bit, just like, just a hair more reasonable. Just a little bit, you know, the bar is set low with these bitches. Anyways, there's a reason why Kamala Harris is running on change, which by the way, guys, did you know that? Kamala Harris is running on change when she's literally the vice president of the current presidential administration. So what is the change? Like, are you admitting that the administration you've been a part part of for four years is bad or lying? I don't know. But that's how dumb Democrats are, guys. It's sad. It's really disappointing. It's like, wow, we are so dumb that we're going to vote for Kamala as Democrats because we want change. We're mad about how the country is and somehow it's not partly her fault. Hello, you guys need to get a brain scan. Are you dumb? Yes, anyways, I'm ranting. She's making a point. People are upset with how things are going. Gas prices, go grocery prices, foreign affairs. You know it. You know the things. Anyways, so she's saying, you know, Kamala needs to be running on change. And Sonny Hostin dares to say that the facts prove that the Biden-Harris administration has been super successful. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Maybe Sonny Hostin is suffering from early onset dementia, wouldn't be surprised. Or maybe just like probably drunk and high all the time, who knows? One second, real quickly. Before, you don't have to throw President Biden under the bus to say, I was his wingman, I loved it, we were successful, we did a lot of great things. But now that I'm the boss, these are the things I would love. It was kind of a clear way yeah. to delineate they can be once new, you're in you charge, what you're gonna do. All she has to do but is listen, say, I'm gonna build on okay, it. Okay, look, there's a lot of people who are desperate for there to be sunlight between Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. This weekend there were a ton of uh, articles out there about how there's friction between the Biden White House and the Harris campaign. Nothing could be further from the truth. 
Jill Biden is out there all over the country this weekend campaigning for Kamala Harris. Joe Biden is going out to Pennsylvania tomorrow to campaign for Kamala Harris. And I think that if you think an 81-year-old man from Delaware, white man, is going to lead the same way as a 60-year-old child of immigrants, South Asian, black woman from Oakland, you are... Oh, my gosh. Imagine having that many, like, modifiers to your name of who you are. Can we hear that again? One more time, please. It's comical. Old child of immigrants, South Asian, black. Sorry, I didn't even rewind enough. That is so funny. That's how long it goes on. An 81-year-old man from Delaware, white man, is going to lead the same way as a 60-year-old child of immigrants, South Asian, black woman from Oakland. You are five on something. Five modifiers. Five. Cinco. Yeah, wow, so woke, amazing. Kamala, she's winning in the oppression Olympics. And by the way, don't forget, she is a salute I think just the point I wanted to make is we all want Donald Trump to lose. And I think that means over- No shit, we know that. Thank you for proving that. You guys are all a bunch of lying hacks. And this girl, by the way, yeah, this bitch, oh my gosh. She used to be in the Trump administration. She rose to fame by trashing Trump by being a disloyal hoe. Amazing. Yes, she's the prettiest girl on the panel of The View, but the standards are low. The bar is set so low, to say the least. Thank you for being a traitor. Over the next few weeks, talking about things that, that are realities we need to deal with. Dealing in realities, ABC's own polling says 74% of Americans want Kamala Harris to go in a new direction. 65% think that she will be, but they, they think she will be a continuation of Biden policies. But to your point, there's a way to not throw him under the bus and talk about what are your new proactive things you're going to do. She announced this Medicare um, expansion that she mm -hmm. wants to do to help but the that sandwich. Got completely so, lost no, in the it media. was really well received. I will she point out, I, I would like to point out the fact that. When they came in, we were in trouble. Mm. And I don't know how much better people want stuff to be. There's always going to be folks who are doing much better than everybody else. So the key is you want to continue to have everybody try to get and do better. So they've been doing pretty well, as you've pointed out. But there's all kinds of crazy stuff going on. You know, let's talk about just, you know, there was for months, Joe Biden was too old. He yep. was like a, he was like the, one of those things. We know that. And he was proven to be too old. That's why they ripped him away from being the actual nominee. Yeah. In a, a Halloween. Yes, he was like, you know, a Halloween thing. But nothing he was about that Trump old. being he was a crypt old. keeper. I, nothing no, about him. No. I can't. I told you they're going to start saying Trump is now old with the dementia, too. It's so ridiculous. But, but, but I, I, I just want to finish that. Okay. Everything the left accuses the right of doing is precisely what they are doing. It's called projection. Look it up. The thing, it, you know, when we say, okay, we want to have your information. We get your information. We get her information. We don't get all the information we need to know about his health. Yes, oh, I there's would like many, it. There's many. There's there's many things that, especially, you know, but the but there are lots so of funny. things we need to be paying attention to. But I feel like there's so many balls in the air. It's very hard to find the right ball. And the, the, just the final thing I want to say. She and Kamala Harris will find the right ball. That is a fact, to say the least. Let me know what you guys think. We love to see the woke left eating their own. Thank you. And if you're still here, if you watch to the end of the video, comment MAGA. Thanks, guys.